Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. I felt like sharing this with all of you today for some reason. And I know I never mentioned anything to anyone except for my mother, my father, and my sisters. But around six weeks ago, I started to feel sick. Um, I was just feeling like a regular cold, so I didn't pay much mind to it. You know, it was just a runny nose, sneezing, and coughing a little. Um, normally when I have a cold, it lasts no more than two days. So I was like, okay, just another cold. But then the next day, I woke up feeling sore. Like my entire bottom part, like the entire bottom part of my body, legs, thighs, calves, but everything was just hurting. And I also had a headache. So a couple of hours later, my back starts to hurt as well. And then I started to feel like a sore throat. I'm guessing it was like from all the coughing, but any attempt to leave my bed felt like a nightmare. It felt like if I had an intense workout section the day before, which I didn't. So I actually ended up getting up from my bed, although I was feeling really heavy. Um, I had to go to the kitchen, get some tea, and then I ended up going to the supermarket. I needed to go to the supermarket because I needed to get some ingredients that, you know, are supposed to help you when you have a cold. So I did that, and I remember getting organic beets, onions, guava, red peppers, honey, lemons, garlic, um, ginger as well and among other things that are good for the cold so i remember getting back home and like not having any energy to do anything so i just felt so fatigued like ugh, i just got beat up by these groceries so i just put everything away and i went straight to my room to sleep because i was so tired for no reason so the following day, day two, I woke up feeling even more sore. My headache was stronger and I felt hot as well. So I grabbed my thermometer and I took my temp. My temp was like 99.2. So technically that's not considered a fever, but I felt hot inside. So I knew something was wrong and I, I did not like the feeling because it, it doesn't feel good doesn't feel good to not feel good you know that doesn't feel right i didn't lose my taste buds however i did lose all my appetite like i did not want to eat anything besides from just a few bites and then i'll be like eh, i don't want no more i i was basically living based on tea tea was all i was eating and drinking during these days Later on that day, I started to lose my breath as I went up and down the stairs and then suddenly consistent breathing started to become an issue. I felt horrible like, is this what asthmatics feel? Damn. Then I went to the kitchen to make this beet and onion juice which tasted horrible guys. I never tasted something that tastes so bad before. This tastes so bad, you have no idea. But it did open my airways though. Like I drank it and I was able to breathe better immediately. I don't get I don't get the deal with beets and onions and honey and your lungs, but it did work. I don't understand the mystery. The point is it worked. So that same night I took my, my temperature again because I felt hot and my temperature was at like 107 so this is when i was like wait a minute did i catch this thing because i had a fever you know what i mean and i i couldn't breathe and i had a headache and <laughs> it's like all the symptoms were leading to that so i, I was scared 
I was not able to sleep well that night. So um, I was just taking a lot of naps throughout the night and all day long the following days after that. So then the next day, day four, I started to have so much trouble breathing. Um, I went to make the beet juice again, which did not work this time. Like it didn't help me much. And I also started doing gargling with warm water, salt and vinegar several times a day on a daily basis after this i still had a headache it was a mild headache though this day um but seriously i was feeling like i was having asthma attacks i know it because i was feeling the exact symptoms that people get when they get an asthma attack including the wheezing i did my little research about the rona symptoms and they did not include wheezing so this is what confused the heck out of me because I didn't see wheezing anywhere. I just saw wheezing in asthma attacks. And I mean, I like, I never got asthma before. So this was like just so weird to me. I didn't know what to do. So I ended up using an asthma inhaler, which helped like really, really fast. I was surprised this thing i used it and 40 seconds later i was breathing almost normal again i did have to use it several times a day um because i would run out of air like all the time and i'll feel like i would feel like the chest tightness again and the feeling of breathlessness um very often uh, but as soon as i would do the asthma inhaler boom it will go away for for a few you know like for an hour or so and i would also run out of air if i tried to speak so i limited my speaking time by a lot so as the day went by so did my fever this fever was like bipolar or something because it would go up and then down up and down at one point it went up to like a hundred and one point something God damn it, my whole neck was burning. I'm like, yo. But the good thing is that I sweat the fever overnight. So that night, in the middle of the night, I woke up entirely wet. Like, like what the heck is going on? I had menopause or something. Nah. So yeah, I sweat the entire fever. I woke up soaking wet. Jesus Christ, like if I had peed, that's what it felt like if I had peed over my bed so the following day day five i didn't have a fever anymore but i was still feeling chest tightness i was still having some trouble breathing unless i used the rescue inhaler by this day my body ache was almost fully gone i was still feeling some pain in my back area and my throat was still sore i was still coughing so I'm guessing this is why my throat was still sore because of all the coughing. <laughs> I couldn't speak much because every time I spoke, I felt like I would just run out of air and it would also hurt my throat, <laughs> my little sore throat. I still had no appetite. I was just drinking tea all day long and napping all day long. <laughs> what a life. The following day, day six, I was still feeling a little sick not that much though I was constantly checking my fever um, I mean <laughs> I was constantly checking my temperature um, just to see if I had a fever which I didn't however my breathing was getting better i know because i was using the rescue inhaler a lot less by this day i would still feel breathless if i spoke and i feel like the gargling was helping me because my throat was feeling a lot better and i was also getting my appetite back by this day <laughs> um the next day like day seven i remember waking up and feeling much better i i was so hungry like i woke up boom i want to eat ah, food, give me food so i was just craving everything at once so i went straight to the kitchen and pick out 
It's like I had a dragon in my stomach. Wanted to eat everything. I ate so much that day. The day before I did a little bit because I was like getting my appetite back. But then this day, whew, I woke up and I felt like, like a whale. Hungry. Super hungry. I only used the inhaler twice this day just because I felt like a little tightness on my chest and I was not trying to feel that again hell no uh-uh I had a little phlegm for a few more days after this I did not have any trouble breathing anymore I did not have a fever anymore body aches no more headaches just a little phlegm and my throat a little sore um after speaking but it was nothing I couldn't handle on I didn't want to get tested because I was scared. I was scared of the results. Um, although I didn't need medical attention, I handled it myself at home. But I kind of wish I had gotten myself tested just to kind of like know if it was actually the Rona that I had. But oh well i can't go back in time during these days i did not take any medication all i took was vitamin c homemade teas and homemade juices and uh immune system shot all made by me with a little bit of energy that i did not have so my the tea that i was drinking consistently um consisted of garlic ginger cinnamon and lemon i sweetened it with honey it tasted funny it tasted like soup so i'm just like oh well i'm just drinking soup from a mug like a regular person so yeah that tea that that was that was all i was drinking um those are ingredients that help you when you are cold if you want to add some apples to it go for it I personally can't eat apples that much, you know, so I limit myself to them. And the juices consisted of, you already heard, the nasty juice, beet and onions. And it did help, but it's... The other juice, however, was so good. It was guava and red pepper. You just sweeten it with a little honey and you're gonna drink that like oh, this is heaven it tastes good actually and it boosts your immune system so quick i'm guessing that helped me get rid of it fast i don't know i don't know maybe it did the point is it tastes good and it's really healthy and it helps your immune system get stronger so what i did for the shot was i put a ginger piece in the juicer and pure juice came out and then i squeezed the juice of half a lemon in a shot cup and i drank it a shot and that oh my god was so strong it did not taste bad but it was just so strong it did help i don't know how but i did feel better after doing it so it helped <laughs> Anyways, I hope you are all staying safe. I hope your loved ones are staying safe as well. I hope you are all mentally and emotionally stable during these times. Times are hard on everyone. Really tough times we're living. Um, please stay home. If you don't need to go out, don't go out. If you need to go out, take precautions. Be safe. Stay safe. I'm doing my part although i don't know if i got that thing but well i'm going into it now if i did i still take precautions when i go out so i hope you guys are all please doing subscribe same. to my channel i have so much more content coming up and thank you so much for watching see you next time bye